Hi guys, it's Timmy Me, and welcome to the first episode of In Bloom. This series is not a challenge of any sort, just a cozy gameplay, and this sim over here is our lovely Annika. After graduation, she decided to take a trip to Europe and she fell in love with the beautiful city of Windenburg. Wanting to become independent from her parents, she took on a job as a florist and that's pretty much where we're at. She just turned 20, so she's very young, but her biggest dream would be to find her one true love and start a family. This series will be a personal journey of our little Annika to achieve her goals and fully bloom as a person. Okay guys, so while Annika is working in the garden, I will show you around the house. I built a twin house because I really wanted to have a much closer experience with my neighbors, with some community areas where they could tender the crops or barbecue together or just hang out, you know? And as most of you already know, I'm obsessed with English architecture, so that was the main inspiration for the house. And of course, I made sure to incorporate as many flowers as I could to keep it in the theme of the series. So Annika lives over here and on the right we have our lovely neighbors, Marcy and Trevor. And don't worry, you'll meet them soon. So I really wanted to show you around the house. Here is the main entrance and here is a little hallway. We have some storage area for Annika's bike. And this is my favorite part of the house. This is the kitchen. Let me maybe turn on the main light as well. And as you can see, it just it just looks so cozy. And it really shows Annika's passion for cooking and gardening. I also downloaded a bunch of CCs to make it seem more lived in. Okay, and moving on to the living room, we have a little dining area over here. I really love this lemon tree. And we have a TV and a stereo. And we also have a little picture of Annika when she was younger. Also, I just wanted to mention that I love how this brick is warming out the living room. And if we go over here, we have a toilet. Yep, pretty basic. This is such a vibe though. If we go downstairs, because we also have a basement, uh, as you can see, this is our laundry room. And yeah, we have some laundry to do, guys. And there's also this storage and some more wardrobes, bookshelves, a little personal space, a studio of sort, but nothing too special. And if we go upstairs, this is Annika's bedroom and it's just so cozy. I really like it. Yeah, as you can see, we have some canvases for Annika and there's also this little office that I made for her and some postcards that she got from her friends from all over the world. And if we go over here, this is Annika's little balcony. We've got two balconies in the house and this is the main view and this is where Annika works. And here we have two bathrooms. This one is my favorite because of the custom shower I made and another one is with a bathtub where she can just relax. Here's a guest room that is not currently being used uh, as well as the piano and yeah it's pretty much just a storage for now and here we go to the balcony and this is Annika's private space where she can do flower arrangements and here we have the community garden where Annika was working before. I also built this small hangout area which is currently being used by Trevor, Marcy's husband and he's a teacher in the nearby school here in Windenburg and he is such a grill master always out by barbecuing you guys so yeah that's pretty much everything a little cozy space to hang out with our neighbors okay guys Anika is still sleeping but soon she will wake up and then she will go to work but first i wanted her to do a quick workout Anika is not hungry so she will just eat something very simple like maybe english muffins yes please and we've got a, such a beautiful day so why not eat it outside We'll come here and eat the muffin. Oh, she's so pretty. And the lemonade and the picnic basket. It just looks so nice. 
Okay, she finished eating, so yeah, let's clean that. And next we are going to take care of the garden because as you can see, it's a mess. And oh, the flowers, look. So yeah, I think we're going to sell everything and just make her tender the crops. Oh, look at Trevor, he's watching TV. Wait. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That was awkward. Anyway, we actually do have this sprinkler from Annika's career, I believe, but we only have one, so we still have to tender the crops. So yeah, let's water the plants. I just love looking at her. <laughs> oh, she really loves nature. Okay, so the garden is taken care of. Now I would like Annika to have just a quick yoga session, maybe. And I think we're going to use the pizza mat. <laughs> Oh yeah, and this is her workout outfit. Isn't she cute? Yeah, get that zen going. She just had her English muffin, endured her crops, and now she's just casually doing yoga. Like, Anika is just that girl, you know? Oh, oh. Okay, she kept her pose. <laughs> I thought she's not going to make it. Oh, that's the difficult one. Oh, oh, <laughs> she did it. Okay, and soon we'll have to go to work. So I'm going to have her take a quick shower and we can head off. All right, guys, so Anika just arrived to her workplace and I am so excited to show you what it looks like. So here we have the original part of the building. It was a cafe and it still is. Um, but on the left, there is a flower shop now. So this is Mrs. Ogawa's flower shop. I just wanted to tell you guys that I spent so much time working on this one, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it's really, really nice. And yeah, I'm super excited to show you the interior as well. So let's get inside. And this is the interior and as you can see it is just so pretty i'm so happy with it and also i thought that it's going to be a good idea to just include some close-ups so yeah here you go and yeah i'm just super excited for Annika to start her work day. And these two flower arrangements, actually Annika made herself and we are going to need a bunch more. So yeah, let's get to work. Actually, we also have some flowers here. So we have to take care of the garden first. You know what? For me, it's so relaxing to simply just look at her. I don't know how about you guys, but like, let me know. <laughs> okay, and Annika just finished watering all the crops that we have over here. So next task is, I think, working on flower arrangements. So let's get over here to this little storage slash studio area where she can work on some arrangements and we have some flowers that we picked from our garden earlier so yeah let's start making some arrangements and i am thinking to actually go with orchids so yeah let's do white orchids <laughs> that's so nice she's so passionate about flowers you guys Okay, so this is our new flower arrangement. So let me just take this bouquet and let's put it on display actually. And there we go. As you can see, we have some more to do. So let me get to it. And also let's mark it as for sale. Hey guys, it is actually time to open the store. So I'm not going to make her make more arrangements. <laughs> uh, let's just stop it here and let's open this door. All right, so the store is open and now we are going to wait for some customers. We also have some bonsai trees and they are super popular, so we've got a restock. Guys, she's so cute. I love her outfit so much. Just look at her. All right, guys, look who is here. We've got our first two customers and it is Trevor and Marcy. 
And I wanted you guys to meet Marcy so badly, so there she is. This is Annika's best friend and she is working close by in the garden center. Once Annika moved, they instantly became friends and Marcy was actually the one to introduce Annika to garden. She also introduced her to Mrs. Ogawa, the store owner, and therefore helped her find her job. So back to the episode. She's like, oh, thank you for coming, Trevor. What can I do for you? Oh, actually, I was thinking about this flower arrangement that you could do for me. Oh, yeah, of course. No problem. I'll make it super pretty for you and Marcy. No problem. And let's also say hi to Marcy. Hi. Hi, bestie. Hi, girl. Yes, yeah, so the Trevor already showed you pictures, right? Yeah, I want it like so. Yeah, sure. No problem. I'll be happy to make it for you. I actually brought some fresh flowers from the garden center. Oh, that's great. I would love to use them. So this is actually the bouquet that our neighbors ordered. So let's just prepare that one for them real quick. So I'll use the flowers that Marcy just gave me. And yeah, let's pick those and let's add them to the bouquet. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. And while Annika is preparing the bouquet, Marcy and Trevor are actually grabbing coffee. Just look at them, happily married, they're such cuties. Oh, I can't. Alright guys, so Annika just finished the bouquet and it's so stunning. So I'm just going to give it to Marcy and Trevor. Okay girl, so this is your bouquet. It's already unpacked up for you. Oh, thank you. This is actually perfect. Just how I imagined. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you. All right, and as you can see, we have to take care of this one because the flowers have withered and we don't like that. So <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of it. Hey guys, so Annika actually made a replacement and yeah, let's see what happens next. And look, we actually got a bunch of customers coming in. So yeah, let's just go and say hi and ask what kind of flowers they'd be interested in. Hello, hello, how can I help you? Ah uh, yes, I am actually looking for some houseplants that are not that easy to kill because I don't know much about gardening and stuff. And yeah, do you have something that you could recommend? Of course, yes. Let me show you this plant over here. Right guys, so we had a bunch of sales, but it's getting quite late. So it's time that we close the store for today and to visit it back tomorrow. Okay guys, so I was just about to close the store when Annika received a phone call. And this is very strange because it is already past her shift and I am really curious to see what it's all about. Hello, this is Inbloom, Annika speaking. How can I help you? Mm -hmm. And what kind of flowers are you thinking of? Yeah, sounds lovely. So when do you need the flowers by? Today, but, but we are actually closing right now. Yeah. No, no, we no, we don't do deliveries. No. Oh, I see. And where? Oh, Th then it's it's not that far. Hmm. Okay. I actually have some free time right now, so maybe I could just... Yeah. Yeah, by the reception? Okay. Yeah, in about 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. So let me recap what just happened. A guy called Miles just ordered a bouquet past Annika's work hours, and on top of that, he asked her if she could deliver it and we do not do that. But once he said it's going to be for his aunt's birthday and that he was working all day, meeting after meeting and couldn't really grab the bouquet himself. And he's still working right now and he cannot leave until 10 p.m. So we cannot just wait for him either. Annika decided to just deliver it herself. He also said that he's going to pay extra and we need money. So yeah, let me just turn on the lights again. <laughs>